child. Oh. Everything I can do to make a way for me and you. So don't worry about what people say about you. You know daddy loves you. Now, ever since my birth, I've been cursed since I'm born to wow. In case I never get to holler at my unborn child. Many things learned in prison. Blessed and still living, trying to earn every penny that I'm getting. And reminiscing to the beginning of my mission. When I was conceived, it came to be in this position. My mama was a panther laugh. Single parent, but she proud when she witnessed baby boy rip a crowd. To school, but I dropped out and left the house. Cause my mama say I'm good for nothing. So I'm out since I only got one life to live. God forgive me for my sins. Let me make it and I never steal again or did again. My only friend is my misery. Wanting revenge. For the agony they did to me See my life ain't promised But it sure get better Hope you understand my love letter To my unborn child Hey, 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 what's happening? <clears throat> All right. Thank y'all for coming on. It's going to be a great show tonight. Ooh. I've got my very, very good friend. I mean, good friend. I'm talking about a great human being, King Simon in the house. King Simon. <laughs> what's up? Can you hear me clearly? Oh, yeah, we can hear you clearly. For those of you who don't know who King Simon is, he is a master numerologist. This man has done numerology for extremely, extremely high level people. When I say high level, not that anyone else is lower, but right. people that are extremely hard to get to. OK, extremely hard to get to, hard to get in contact with, hard to get into their inner circle. And they rely on King Simon for a lot of their numerology uh, and, and spiritual guidance. He's also an amazing host of Calculate Your Destiny on Forbidden Knowledge TV. That is our streaming TV network, which you can get on your app store. And as a matter of fact, King Simon is nominated this year for TV host of the year coming up very soon at the Forbidden Conscious Award. So shout out to you, King Simon. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. It's been a, it's been a while. And I thank you and your new audience, your new platform up here, which is yeah. the remix for Tupac, who been there, very dear to my heart because I've yeah. been around him. I was around him for at least uh, 24 to 48 hours straight. Right. It was, it was, it, but we'll talk about that. We'll get into all of that in the mix. But how yeah, you been? How you been? Oh, I've been phenomenal, man. Just cranking. You know, earlier today, we had um, a great, great meetup, a meet and greet with the people yeah. that came to the God Power Part yes. 2 event on the around. online yeah. workshop. Yes. And uh, we promised them that we would fly them in town. And Richard, Merritt from Black Magic and yeah. Dr. B. Sirius would fly yeah. in and meet us down here all at once. And we'd give them a great meet and greet. And right. we took them and we flew them all the way in to, uh, from, to Fort Lauderdale, put them in the Ritz Carlton on the ocean, picked them up in the Rolls Royce wow. first class. Wow. And we had a great, great powwow and a meet and greet session and a mentoring session for about four and a half hours wow. at the Ritz Carlton in a private room, ate food and everything, broke bread. And yeah. uh, and now they're all headed back home to to their states. One young lady was actually from Trinidad, so she's headed back to the islands. I heard, I heard. Right I, was watching, I was watching Brother Richard's show, and he uh, he yeah. was showing that and uh, broadcasting that. So, I, well, nice. you know, you're, you're a man of your word, brother. You're a man of your word. I, I hope to get to open up for the third God power. I want to open that up. I want to at least open up. If I could open it up and have a good time and show yeah. people. How these mathematics work, it would be beautiful. So let Rich know yeah. that I would love to open up for the next, the last, the last, the third one. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We got we got to have you. We got to have you for sure. For sure, man. And, um, uh, and congratulations to the award show that you're doing, the second annual, man. That's a that's a beautiful thing. I can't wait to be there. I'm going to be at all the functions. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be at all. Gonna, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Look, here go E-Snap right now. I said, had a great time with Billy today. Hey, All right, shout out, man. Appreciate you. He gave me a great gift today also. So I'm looking yeah. forward to wearing that on maybe my next podcast that I do on Forbidden Knowledge. But yeah, yeah we had a great time with him. His wife uh, came down and two other young ladies uh, came in town. So we had a great, great time today. All right, everyone. So who? Uh, so um, what's up, Peaceful Queen? Uh, for everyone that's here right now, we are going to talk about the Tupac Code. Oh, All right. Yeah. So uh, King Simon really is a master 
in numerology. He's an author of many books in numerology, and he's a TV host in a numerolog numerological show. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. And so today we're going to talk about and break down the life of Tupac based on the numbers. It's going to be an interesting conversation. And and King Simon, I know you did a lot of research coming into this. I can see your chalkboard behind you, man. <laughs> no, bro, I could not sleep. When I say I could not, I, I, I was supposed to go upstairs and sleep and I stayed on the couch. I went in and out of sleep. But when I got up again around three o'clock, I could not. I, I just started writing. My yeah. mind just said, even with the name ballet, because he took ballet as up to a number right. 16. So I, I yeah. said, wait. I said, yeah. I said this, this number's. It, I, I Everything it. is in there. It's before awesome. before we get started, what I want to do, I want, I want to add another level of credibility. I'm going yeah. to put this these fo these four photos four right. <laughs> up oh, on yeah. the screen. All right, Ooh. and just walk through these photos real quick, King Simon, because that's you in these photos. Yeah, that's me with the brothers in the Nation of Islam at that time in 1980, uh, 1994, when he had to go to court between November 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 30th and the, the December 1st. That's when he had to go to court for that that accusation that happened, you know, with the woman and all that. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the photos on the bottom where you see me with the hat, that was my signature wear, that Cuban Cuban hat, as I was saying. That's the Cuban hat that I always wore. Most people knew me for it when I did security for Spike Lee or Russell Simmons or Andre Harrell. People know Brother Simon right there for that that particular picture and every that whole look right there. And the rest of the brothers there was my martial arts trainers. We had Little Wayne, uh, Sheon Wayne that was there with the hat in the gray, black and gray with Tupac in the seat. Brother Arthur Muhammad, the now a minister of New York City. My other martial arts teacher, um, Brother Anthony Muhammad, who is a the assistant captain of, of, of the Nation of Islam, Brother Assad was behind Brother Wayne. Then at the one where you see my hat behind, we was escorting Tupac into the car after getting him through the melee of audience that was waiting outside of the courtroom. But I was with Tupac from the ICU at his door. I was with Tupac from the ICU at his door. And when the, the whole account where they said he ran out of the hospital and cursed the doctors out, that was not true. Mm. I was at the door. And Tupac had his, his, you know, they have that hospital robe on, that hospital uh, thing with glass hanging out. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Tupac, Tupac, he was so intuitive that he said, he said, Brother Simon, I can't stay here. I got to get out of here. Because what happened, people realize, those who have ever been in the ICU, you know, when you're in the ICU, the intensive care unit, they checked you constantly. So Tupac yep. got a little nervous because they kept on waking him up every 10 to 15 minutes. He couldn't get no rest because every minute they're checking on his vitals because remember, he got shot, his head, his groin, they're checking on his yep. vitals. So I'm there, I'm there doing this whole thing now, this, this mm -hmm. part when he's in the house because whatever security he did have, they didn't, the, um, the, the management team and the mother of Phoenix Accord, they didn't trust anybody around him. So they called the Nation of Islam, X-Men Security, big up to GM Aziz or Anthony Muhammad, Wayne Muhammad, and all the brother Assad and brother Arthur Muhammad who was around us at that time. Mm -hmm. And we were at Bellevue Hospital. Interesting enough, even the, the where Bellevue is located, it, the address is 462 First Avenue. And when you add that 462 First Avenue as of the 13, which is a four, and his, his number, he, you're going to see there's a lot of twos, a lot of fours, a lot of sevens, 22s, and 16s, mm -hmm. all in his chart, eight, nine, all of them, because those are his yeah. numbers that are connected to him. So mm -hmm. and that the whole thing that went on, brother, I was there. So when he when when he left the, the um when we had to sign him up, I said, I said, I said, Pop, you can't just run out like this. I gotta sign you up. We gotta sign. He said, All right, let's make it happen. So we went to mm -hmm. the desk. He said, he, he thanked all the nurses, all the doctors. Let me say mm -hmm. this very clearly. I, he thanked all the nurses and everybody for patching him up, patching him up, like he said. Mm -hmm. But I can't get no effing sleep. That's right. all he said. And then they, they exaggerated and said he cussed out the doctors. He did mm. not curse out the doctors. He just said he couldn't get no effing sleep. So we took him to a secret location in Harlem where his mother was at and everybody else was at right mm -hmm. on 125th Street. But as the anesthesia wore off, Tupac want to get back into the hospital. That marijuana wasn't working. <laughs> not in five <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. But it, it got real. And then we had to transfer him to another hospital. Then that hospital, the uh, I think it's the FBI, the feds came. They wanted to get in the room, but they didn't have no warrant. And myself and Brother Arthur was at the door. Now, we're, we're like one of the shortest dudes. I'm like a five, six. 
Brother Arthur is about five, seven, five, eight. Yeah. These big burly white dudes came. Wow. Big burly white dudes. But if they didn't have no warrant, they didn't have no search, they didn't have no I, we did mm. not let them in. The FOI was different. We yeah. different when we up in that front line. The minister and Dr. Khalid taught us very well back in the mm -hmm. day. So uh, yeah. uh, I got to commend them for that kind of training because we held our ground. They wasn't going in without the proper credentials. And we didn't get the proper protocols from our captain. So once, so because remember, captains and lieutenants are supposed to meet with each other to make sure the protocol is right in order for you to make those moves to get in. So they couldn't get yep. in and they turned around and kept it moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nice. But uh, I was there. I had a very staunch look back in the day. I was a very hardcore because we were fasting and all that. So And we trained every day with martial arts and all that, thanks mm -hmm. to Dr. Moses Powell, Soki, and Little John, but, and uh, Anthony Muhammad and all those great people that trained us. But um, it, this, this subject is very dear to my heart because I was there with the brother from at least 24 to 48 hours in and out because we had to get people relieve us and then we got to come back and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it, brother, it, it was something else. And you know, yeah. those times we didn't have a camera, we didn't have phones like that. So yeah. it was like, I wasn't, the, the picture that y'all see with the group of men, I was near the photographer because that was the, um, that was the legal team's photographer. So I had to keep him in the fray. We had to move. So I kept him in front of me while we're moving people. Cause you know, when the, when Tupac is around, he's celebrity. So he pulled yeah. a lot of people everywhere he went. You know, so that was very important. And uh, a lot of things happened between those times. And um, I want to thank Tupac and his family that for allowing us to do security for him. His late mother, Afini Shakur, for allowing us to do security for him. But um, mm -hmm. it was quite a time, brother. Those times yeah. were very, you know, very, very hectic. And then yeah. Yeah. in that year, I was in an eight personal year. So I was happy for the money because that was a money year for me. But that year, I was transitioning into a nine year, which deals with meeting celebrities and all that kind of stuff. So I met Pac. I was able to do security for Pac. I met Biggie like a couple months later. Then I met Biggie and uh, who's going through his stuff right now, P. Diddy. Yeah. I, it was so much going on, bro. When I yeah. like things. But uh, I love you, man. I'm thank you for thankful. Let me ask you a question. What made you wanted to do the remix? Well, you know, I'm a huge Tupac fan. I'm tell. getting a slight echo, a slight echo, I think. If you have a speaker on that side, maybe. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a huge Tupac fan, obviously. Uh, I know the words to virtually every song ever written, even some of the unpublished tracks and so forth. Uh, and I got my hands on a lot of the acapellas. And I decided, you know, I mean, I've gone through these songs, obviously. We all have for so many decades. Right. That we know every single beat, every snare, every 808. And I was like, you know, it'd be cool if if we can go in and we can put a new twist on the music. If we can give it a 432 hertz frequency right, and right, give right. it a different vibe, not taking anything away from Tupac, but just mm -hmm. give the people Tupac almost like a reincarnation, you know, mm -hmm. through through music. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I talked to Gorilla Tech, who's my a, you know, A1 engineer since day one and, and producer. And I was like, we got to put a spin on this, make it into a healthy frequency, handpick the songs uh, that we know have real depth and story and knowledge in behind them and, and history behind them and put them back out to the people in a way that can revitalize people, that it can give them a chance to enjoy you know, the, the, the legend of Tupac yeah. once yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, so we created the Tupac remix vault, man. And and so far, people are really loving it. When I look at the comments, people are vibing to it, loving it. Yeah. They're enjoying the new sound, the new frequency. Yeah. And I mean, then when I remember you telling me about, you know, doing security years ago, you told me about doing security for Tupac and you're a numerologist. <laughs> and I knew that Tupac had a number of 22, which I'm a yeah. 22 master yeah. number. Yeah, I said I got to get King Simon on the show <laughs> so we can talk about this, man. <laughs> well, yeah. you, you, I mean, you, we, we, you are. It's interesting because you're you and him born the same year, mm -hmm. and both of you. And I, I got your birthday on the board down here, though. But you're born yep. 9 4, 1971, which adds up yep. to 19, uh, 1984, 1984 adds up to 22. Him mm -hmm. being born, of course, six sixteen. It's 1971, and that adds up to 1993, and 1993 adds up to 22. People got to remember what what master numbers are, because mm -hmm. not only did he have a master number at his at his alignment number, 
Yeah. The six plus the 16 is also 22. He also had it as his life path number and his mm -hmm. full name added up to a number 22. Wow. And his first name in the Chaldean system added up to a number 22. And his original name, Lassane, added up to a number 22 in the Chaldean system also. So he could yeah. not run from the 22 even if he tried because even his original name that he was given, Lassane Parish Crooks, also had a master number 22 in the first name. Wow. Let's tell, let's tell the people about the power of 22 so they can understand, like, why is this so important? Let me tell y'all where front. If you want to throw me in the front real quick, let me. You don't. You, yeah, you let me throw, throw you in front. front. Go yeah, ahead. Throw me in front. Family, it is it is twenty two. As much as people love and want to have this master number, I always tell my clients. I always tell them, with great power comes great responsibility. Let me say that to the people in the back of the universe. With great power comes great responsibility. So when I go into my book, Numerovation for Mental Stability and talk about the number 22 from what I was doing the deep study and deep dive about, I said, it is the symbol of a good person blinded by the foolishness of others. And it's a master number of illumination, practical ideals and vision. It is a master build, the master architect in the esoteric studies of numbers. It is a highly intuitive and inspirational number with a strong mastery for the material world. But because of the number two family, there's also an intuitive sensitivity that you have to tap into. So Tupac had it, the double frequency. He had one, two, three, and four. Matter of fact, he had five master numbers. Because even the vowels of that name, Tupac Amaro Shakur, in the vowels, the A-E-I-O-U in the Chaldean system, added up to a number 22 also. So Pac, remember, 22 is one of the numbers of doing things on a global level. You're not limited to this one part of the world. Even people, and I'm going to say this for even people born on the same day and the same year as Tupac, it's the person who decides to make the, the vibrations work for you is the one who gets it. Tupac made that vibration work for him because of his assertiveness, because of his planning, because of his humble, because of his humble beginning, especially because he was in his mother's stomach while she was pregnant in prison. He'd been through, and then he was taught by people like his stepfather, Matulu Shakur, and his great mama, the one he sang that song to called Afini Shakur. Now, Afini Shakur is born January 1st. Now, one is one of Tupac's, one of, one, one, the number one is one of Tupac's power numbers, or what I say, favorable numbers. But although her life path was a number five, that's why Tupac was able to talk about his mother going down the drug route, because five is a number of addiction. People don't realize when I broke down his mother born January, January the 10th, 19, 1947, it broke down to the number five. So when I understood that, I said, mm, look at this. I said, look at this. And I said, that's why he, he was talking about when he was singing about dear mama and what she went through as a single mama, because sometimes the ones know how to hold it down as a single mother, but she was still going through her ups and downs, especially after the Black Panther movement kind of, kind of dismantled a little. So it's a very important, but his original father, which was William Billy uh, Garland, was born August the 5th. The number five is one of Tupac's power numbers or favorable numbers also. But that five is one of those movement numbers, addictive numbers, the one who needed travel. So he didn't stay in his, his son's life very long. But it was Matulu Shakur, the acupuncturist, that affected his life with an old soul energy because he was also born August, but he was born August the 8th. With, and when you added up August the 8th plus 1950, it added up to 31. It broke down to 31 when you added up across. And then remember, remember four is one of his power numbers. And he's born on a 22, which adds up to his life path as a 22, which adds up to a number four. His alignment number, his alignment number is a number four. His name adds up to a number four. That's the name that they decided to give him, Tupac Amar Shakur, named after the great warrior. That was born April the 14th, who died at a young age of 27, but Tupac died at the age of 25, which is also part of that seven energy that Tupac is born under. So going through the family, I see where Tupac was going and leading and where he had to go. 
And because he had the guidance of Matulu Shakur and the Black Panther Party of that, that means he was connected to people like Bobby Seale and, of course, Fred Hampton and all those people was in that energy back in those days. And those people came out of it. Tupac had the information and knowledge. Now, recently, this is interesting. Recently, I was watching Scarface teach on talk about Tupac. Now, everybody who's read my book knows that the number 16, which is a seven, and the number 22, which adds up to a four, are mental health numbers. And sometimes Pop can live in his own head. That's why when I was in the hospital with him, he was going through so much thing. He was in his head a lot. I mean, he was really nervous thinking somebody was going to get him. That's why he didn't want to stay. He's like a moving target. He's Gemini. Gemini wants to move. Gemini is connected to the number five. Five want to move. Five want their freedom to do what they got to do and keep it moving. That's how Geminis are. So Tupac is in the hospital with me and I'm right there at the door and I'm like, wait a minute. He wants to get up and leave butt ass naked. I had to give him my trench coat. I had to give Tupac my trench coat because he wanted to leave now and that was it. And that's why we had to sign him out. And when we went downstairs, Jada Pickett Smith was there. Tresh was there. His mother, uh, Afini, was there. A lot of entertainers was down there. I couldn't even count on them. But getting back to the point, Scarface said something very key while he was on Sway's show the other day. He said one time, matter of fact, a few times while he was at the show with Tupac, Tupac, the audience was throwing something at the stage. And Tupac said, one more minute, throw a seminar stage, I'm going to clear this whole place or whatever, you know, whatever they were saying. Tupac went and got the, the gat and pulled out the gat. That, I mean, that is, that is, but he's a bold person. Remember, 22 is not only the master number, the master builder, but on the negative can be a master deceiver, a master criminal at what they want to do. Because everything has a duality. And then he's born in 1971 that adds up to the 18, which is a nine. Nine deals with guns, gunplay, military, shooting, all of that. Even in the year that it happened, it all adds up. But I'm just, I wanted to just show you certain things, how the dynamics of Tupac, mean, what it means to me from a mathematical perspective. Now, let's go back into time, shall we? Let's go back into time. Remember, Tupac was into ballet because he went to a Baltimore School of Arts and Talent back in those days. He went to one of those talent schools, and that's where he knew Jada Pickett-Smith, who also took ballet and acting. The word ballet in the Pythagorean system adds up to a number 16. In the Chaldean system adds up to a number 18. Jada Pickett is born on the 18th of September, the 9th. Tupac born on the 16th of June. I'm just showing you how the numbers and patterns and cycles, this is not psychic, this is paying attention to numbers, cycles, sequences, and patterns throughout their life. Jada Pickett, the name Jada is adds up to a number seven. Tupac is born on the 16th, that was his best friend. Number seven and seven, they work together quite well. And Jada's born September 18, 1971 herself. When you add up all her numbers, it adds up to nine, nine, and nine. So she got nine, 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 all in her frequency. So, but nine in, 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 in Tupac chart is one of his challenge numbers. And I always tell people, I tell all my clients, I said, look, when your challenge number shows up, it's either going to challenge you to be your best or challenge you to be your worst. It's up to you on how you handle the challenge. Obviously, he handled the challenge of Jada, somebody like her, very well because the name Jada adds up to seven that can find balance and love with him. But remember, in my book, when I talk about the number 16 or the number 22 and the number and the number 18, the 16 primarily is the personal number of Tupac. 16 also showed up, the name Tupac add up to the number 16. Even the name Tupac added up to the number 16 from a Pythagorean system. But 16 in numerology is the number of planning. And if you don't plan, you will plan to fail, which deals with fatalities and all types of stuff if you're not careful. It is the number of fatality. When you read my book, if you go to page 68, I like to show my book because I can show you better than I can tell you. It says the number 16 is the symbol of spiritual victory or defeat depending on its physical use in this realm. The number 16 is a vibration of creativity, Tupac, vibration of balance and love. He loved his mama, he loved his friends, he loved to be around them, balance. Mm, he, he, he was balanced with his lyrics because he'll sing some conscious stuff and then he'll sing some ratchet stuff. That was just Tupac, we see that. There's the balance then again. Of course, spiritual insight. The brother was tapped 
end. That's why he kept on doing music and music and music because there was downloads and uploads coming to him at all levels. That's why he has a whole vault of music that probably was not released, but big up to Billy Carson that's remixing that and putting out that vault right now. So make sure y'all support and share this. So 16 in, in tarot numerology is called the symbol, it's called the, um, it's called the symbol of the tower. It symbolizes an overthrow of self-ambition and it depicts as the tower struck by lightning from which a man is falling with a crown on his head. It is also called the shattered citadel in tarot numerology. The 16 gives warning. Let me say this again for the people in the back of the mother flipping room. The 16 give warning that plans must be made in advance in order to prevent fatalities in the future. So going to the, the, the time when he got taken out, I got a whole bunch of notes, family. I just, cause you know, brother, brother, brother Billy don't know what he struck in me when it came to this Tupac thing. He don't know what it struck in me. But when he got shot on that time in September, Tupac, let me, let, me, let me break down what it is. September, it was September the 7th when Tupac got shot. September the 7th, again, seven is following him. All those seven can be one of his power numbers or favorable numbers if you're not handling your number in the proper way and doing the right vibra vibratory thing during that time. Guess what? It can go the other way. But he got shot in seven, but his battery was pushed by somebody born under the sign of Aries. Aries is connected to the number nine, so is Scorpio. We know Suge Knight is born April, um, uh, born April the 19th. April is one of his challenge numbers, but the number one is one of his power numbers. That's why Suge can say that was his brother. He really loved them and he really loved each other and worked with each other. But because of that beatdown that happened, remember, nine is a significant number in that cycle also. So we got to think about what's going on. He was in the ninth month at that particular time, September, and it was a seven, which was also connected to a seven, connected to a nine. And what happened? He went and got into a fight because nine deals with arguments and fights and beatdowns and, and shooting and all that kind of stuff. That particular night is happening. All this is transpiring right there. But if you watch the biopic, remember, he was supposedly with, uh, I think it was Quincy Joan's daughter prior to going downstairs, and she wanted him to stay with him. So he should have tapped into that feminine energy and stayed upstairs, and he probably would have avoided that madness downstairs and getting his battery pushed by uh, Aries. And Aries, we already know, is the god of war. Big up to Shook Mike. He's doing his podcast from out of prison. But I'm telling you, family, he, Aries, is one of his challenge numbers, just like his mama, who was born in January, was one of his challenges because that's what he went through. That's what the life he went through, what he did and how things went down. So it's so important that we recognize that Tupac come with a pattern. He has a pattern of a lot of sevens, a lot of twos, a lot of fives, a lot of ones, four, six, and even eight, nine. Those are the patterns that followed him throughout his life. Let me read certain things. And I wanna thank Lloyd Strayhorn because Lloyd broke it down in his book to a certain extent. I just added more because I understood. Lloyd said in his book, and I, I got to read this from my, one of my teachers. He says, he said, Tupac Shakur, actor and gangster rapper. But I said, I put gangster and revolutionary rapper because Dr. Khalid loved this brother. And because he had revolutionary lyrics about his mama, about the struggle, about what he learned, all of that was, a, so I, you could call him gangster because he had duality. He was that Gemini, he was that twin. So he had the gangster and he had the revolutionary side. So in Lloyd's book, he says, okay, Tupac the actor and gangster, revolutionary rapper was a Gemini seven with a 22-4 life path. Born on Wednesday. Wednesday is connected to the number five in numerology, which happens to be one of his power numbers. Wednesday is connected to the number five. It's a Mercury energy, flamboyant movement. June, G Gemini is connected to the number five. It's also flamboyant movement. That's why Tupac, Tupac loved his freedom. He used to dance, he used to do this, he used to do that. He wanted business, he wanted, he taught, he taught people. While he was privately with a bunch of brothers, he would always teach them. He'll try to save you if he had to, because the number five is the number of fearlessness. The number nine is the number of fearlessness. The number master number 22 are the master numbers of, it's a master number of, 
uh, thinking practical, but also can think outside of the box when it's time. Can also be most master numbers, if they live in a masterful level, they can be fearless also. And, and part of me with my passion, it's my passion. I'm bringing my passion. I come with that passion when I come with it. So also what Lloyd was saying in his book, he said, he said, he said, born Wednesday, June 16, 1971 in the Bronx, New York, Gemini symbols of the twin has, uh, has often been associated with having two personalities at the same time, one on a, one hand, for example, he's known as a gifted rap artist and a promising actor. Yet on the other hand, he has several run-ins with the law and serving his time in jail. Now let's go down some of the numeric numerical value of the course Tupac. Again, the word Tupac adds up to 16, which is a seven. He was born on the 16, which is a seven. Okay, boom. And the word, the, the name, the name Tupac. One, the, the words Tupac, the letters in Tupac, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 letters in the name Tupac Shakur. Now remember, he wasn't even born with this name first. They gave him this name for that revolutionary spirit and that, uh, that, that, that ancestral connection. He was named after a, 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 a warrior. So and it has 16 and he's born on the 16. I can't make this stuff up. You can't make up the pattern cycles and sequences of someone's life pattern. And then it says his first name in, in, in the Chaldean system. Yes, his first name in the Chaldean system does add up to a number 22, but also in the Pythagorean system, it adds up to a number 16. Now it goes on what Lloyd says in his book. And he says the name of the debut, he said the name of the debut movie Juice, the word juice in the Chaldean system adds up to number 16, juice. He was co-starred, he co-starred with a beautiful lady named Janet Jackson, who was also born on the 16th of May. Big up to Janet all the time, of course. In November of 1994, he was shot five times in the lobby. Five is one of the, one of the numbers, the power numbers. Five is in the lobby of Manhattan Studios, and the studio was called Quad. In the Pythagorean system, the word quad adds up to a number 16. I can't make this stuff up. And if I have to, do, I can't, I don't want to erase nothing and do it on the board. But if I have to do it, I just wrote, I, I wrote down so much stuff. I'm just letting y'all know. And that particular, that particular, and, it's, and then he goes on to say in the recording, so, and it was a seven universal month at that particular time, because when you add November, the 11 plus the 1994 you can add one plus one plus one plus nine plus nine plus four equals 25 and two plus five equals seven again the seven is following our brother tupac he was checked into the bellevue hospital i can't make this up and remember 22 fours 16 sevens all these numbers are following tupac around every number that i mentioned up here is following tupac around Bellevue Hospital is located at 46, 462 First Avenue. If you add the four, the six, and the two, plus the number one, the first, adds up to a number 13, which is a four. Boom. His full name adds up to a number 22, which is a four. His vowels in his name in the Pythagorean system adds up to a number 13, which is a four. His full vowel, the vowels in the Chaldean system adds up to a number 22 which is a four, four and seven and, 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 and two and 22 and 16. And they all followed this brother all over and every one of them represent a high level of the number or a low level of the number. It's a, it's a, a higher consciousness of each number and there's a lower consciousness. That's what I talk about in my book. You can go to my Amazon, King Simon or Amazon and get the book. Just want to let y'all know. Going on, let's go on now. It says, the, remember, he got shot when he got shot in September. What is the Latin word for September and what does September mean originally? It means the number seven, September, September. Uh, uh, um, I think it's September or, se or September, September, but it means the number seven. Now check this out. And I wrote something down. I know I wrote it down because I got so many notes all over the darn place. Where is that? Even the word Las Vegas. Even the word Las Vegas added up to one of his, but I, I forgot where I put it down because I wrote it. Yes, the word Las Vegas 
he trans he trans he transitioned in Las Vegas and in the Chaldean system, the, na the name or the word Las Vegas adds up to twenty five, which is a seven. Again. The seven is following. Of course, we all know that he transitioned at the age of 25. Two plus five equals seven. We can't make this up. Remember, Tupac died six days later, Friday the 13th. One plus three is four. Four is following him the afternoon, and he died at 4.03. Four plus three equals seven. 4.03 in the afternoon equals seven. That's the time that they said. And then, of course, that particular day that he died, 9 13, 9 plus 13 adds up to 22. And the year was 1996. And 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6 equals 25, which is a 7. Billy, where you at, Billy? <laughs> Billy, where you at? <laughs> I'm over here counting on. Listen, what you were, what you, first of all, I love, I love the energy because we need this type of energy. I, I love your passion, which is why I love being around you because your passion. Is, is is contagious and it transfers not only through face to face but even through the internet it transfers instantaneously but you know something you just said about the the, yeah. the seven right yeah. uh 25 he died at the age of 25 which is what it's seven. one fourth yeah. of a year so a quarter of a century yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean i mean like i said there's so there's so much even the name machiavelli just yeah. name Machiavelli. Even when you when you decide when he decided to use two pop, when you add two plus seven plus one plus three equals thirteen, which is a four in the pipeline. I mean, just two and pop. He didn't run away from this number because yeah. remember your pattern cycles and sequences follow you, family. But it's up to you how to use them and motivate on the highest and wisest level. He was definitely a master at all levels that he did everything that he touched. Definitely a master. I have to respect that. But this, but there was a little of emotionalism because, of course, I, I know because his father wasn't around. Matula got locked up. Everything was happening. Yeah. His original father wasn't around. Matula Shakur didn't just get out. He just got out recently and just passed on recently. So it, 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 it gives. It, so obviously, sometimes that lack of daddy is lack of daddy guidance is there. But. Professor Small says something on Brother Richard's show that he talked to him before he died. And Professor mm. Small, that's what the small is born on the 22nd of the month. Again, that master number 22 coming again. Wow. And, and your affinity form is because you're connected to that 13, 4, 22, and that 9. Same thing, right? Basically. Right. So I mean Tell me, I, you know, he wrote he wrote this uh, you know, the seven-day theory. Look at and, that. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even remember that. Like you, you just, yeah, like, you just, the seven day theory that came out after he died. The seven day theory came out after he died, and some people presuppose it might have been a reference to him faking his own death and coming mm -hmm. back. You know, the, with the Machiavellian yeah. um, conspiracy, so so forth and so on. But the number seven. Now, can you just go over that seven again? Just a little bit about the number seven. I'm trying to figure out why would he name this the seven day theory. Remember, remember, because first of all, seven was his number, and I think he knew that. Even the word Machiavelli in the Pythagorean adds up to a 29, which is 11, which is a two. Seven and two are really synonymous with each other in numerology. They're both spiritual healing numbers. But Machiavelli adds up to that master number 11, which he was already connected to the master number. And 11 is the master of deception on the negative. That's why Machiavelli taught about faking his own death back mm -hmm. in the day. It's a master yeah. of deception. People don't, you got to pay attention. Even they said Bruce Lee might have done it at one point. And if you mm -hmm. add it, he was born on the 11, 27. And when you add all that together, you're going to get 11 and his alignment number is 11. Again, mm -hmm. being able to fake their death or possibly fake their death. Now, I mm -hmm. don't know if he did. I, I believed it for a certain amount of time. And then I, I kind of went in and out of it because, you know, Tupac yeah. and he had a, he had good people around him. But the number seven family is the number of spiritual insight, law of attraction, deep thought, higher learnings, higher guidance. And if y'all read my book, I talk about the number seven being the symbol of spiritual growth and development of higher intuitive understanding. Seven is the symbol of eternal combination of the creator and the nature within man. So seven mm -hmm. helps to connect you to who you are if you're willing to do the meditation, if you're willing to dig deep within yourself, because seven is the research number. Mm -hmm. 
Seven is a high frequency number according to religion because God rested on the seventh day. What did he rest and do? If you're resting, you're more than likely meditating or putting yourself into an internal sleep so you can tap into the astral realm. People mm. understand that seven is a very powerful number because it deals with learning visualization methods. Metaphysic teachers are under the number seven. Philosophers, he, most people, Scarface just did that interview and said, yo, he would hold court when he's with his friends. Mm. Him and um, people like, uh, he said him and who else would hold court? Somebody else would hold court, but they would do it from a more pastoral form where he would do it from a more revolutionary form. I forgot, I, right. think, it was, I think he said Mace or one of them, but I know he said Tupac would hold court with his brothers and teach mm. them the knowledge that he was given by Matulo, Matulo and Afini and all of the Black Panther uh, and, and motivational people that helped him along his path that raised him. Asada Shakur was his auntie or godmother or something, or something like that. So, right. so we, we gotta we gotta think about when seven keeps on following somebody like him, which was really his main power numbers. But remember mm -hmm. what I said earlier: sixteen in compound numerology. In I told y'all in my book, but compound numerology is a number of fatality if you don't use it properly. Mm. So he should have tapped in more to his intuition before he went downstairs to get his battery pushed by the Aries man named Suge Knight. And like I guess mm -hmm. I respect to him because he said he yeah. loved the brother and whatever. But he was also in a number three year cycle that year, which was a, 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 a year of controversy. So getting into controversy in that particular year, that was his thing at that point in time. That mm -hmm. was his thing. You know, so everybody, even Keefe D. Let's go with Keefe D real quick. Let's yeah. go to the guy that they, being accused because I wrote that down too. Keefe D is born June 14th. He's another Gemini, 1990. Mm. He born June 14th, and in 19 and in and in that particular year, in that particular year when that shootout happened, he was in a number nine personal year also because KPD is born mm. 1963 actually. But mm. in that particular year, he was in a personal number. He was in a personal number year that added up to a number nine. 27 years later, he gets arrested in 2003, which he was also in a number nine year cycle. Mm. Yeah, and Tupac was in, remember 2023 was the number seven year. People keep yep. forgetting, and that's when everything started busting out about who killed them and all that in the seven year because that's the number of revealing and showing mm. things and things coming up to, from the from the deep and coming up to the surface. The two main numbers of revelation is the number seven and the number eleven. Always pay mm. attention when you're born under those numbers or when those years come up as your personal year cycle. Pay attention right. because either things about people around you is going to come up, things around about even the energy of that person. Look at that. And I tell people, I tell people, when you start hearing about people like Michael Jackson or James Brown, look at their numbers because more than likely the numbers that's connected to their birthday is re resurrecting their energy at that particular cycle because their energy is still here physically, although they may have transitioned. So mm -hmm. in the seven year, that's when Tupac's murder got found. Come on now, yeah. that don't right. make sense, or it does make sense. That's not yeah. coincidence. <laughs> it definitely makes sense. You know what's interesting? I mean, obviously we know what's swirling around in the news yeah, about so P. Diddy or Diddy, Sean Combs. Uh, yeah. Now he's born November the fourth, nineteen sixty nine. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, so a person born on the fourth of November, the eleventh month. In 1969, I know, you know, just off the top of your head or just referencing from what you know in terms of numbers, what do you think that is in terms of him being able to achieve such a high level of success, but then mm -hmm. now all of this revealing and all this stuff coming out all at once? What do you think uh, his numbers are, try are trying to tell us? Well, 11, if you think about 11 plus 4 plus 1960, what? He was born? Uh, 1969. 1969 equals 1984. So his life path is like yours, a 22. So mm. he did his masterful thing also in the business, in the music, all of that. Yeah. I even realized, but remember, things started revealing more of itself last year because seven was the seven year of revelation. So let's right. add the year that he was in, shall we? Let's add the yeah. year that he was in. When you add 11 plus four, plus 2023, that add up to 2038. That's add up to 2038, that's 11, 12, 11, 12, 13. That number four energy come up. And four mm. is the number of being confined, 
Mm -hmm. or the number of things from your past coming back to haunt you or heal you because all even numbers are either here to come back and haunt you or heal you. Mm. People think about that when all even numbers, two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? When, they, <laughs> when, they, when those numbers show up, they're either here to help you when they come back in a cycle or, he, or, or haunt you. Sure yeah. enough, the vault was released and then he was transiting into the number five year, which he's in now, and five deals with dr drastic changes. Wow. What's happening now? Five is drastic changes. He he still got his little freedom. He's trying to move and escape and do all kinds of stuff. But just pay attention. What's got, what's yeah. happening for him now? But a lot of this stuff we started hearing about probably from the beginning of 2003, especially when he didn't want to pay that girl that money and all this stuff. But 2023, yeah. Yeah. 20, and remember, he started, he was calling himself Brother Love. And started mm -hmm. selling and giving back everybody's stuff. He must have knew something, especially be born on that number eleven energy and being born with that master number twenty two. Somebody tipped him off. Somebody yeah. tipped him off that something is going now. He's rich enough, mm -hmm. according to the twenty two energy, because one thing about twenty twos or people that have the master number two, they have they're very insightful. I don't care if you're a criminal. I don't care if you're a molester. You're still intuitive. I don't care if you was abusing of women. You're still intuitive. Whether you mm -hmm. intuitively want to get those women or intuitively want to take these people's money, intuitively want to do, because you can either use these energy for the positive or the negative. Right. Yin and yang. Good Yin and, and yang. bad. That's why Dark I, and light. Like, that's why I tell when y'all see these so-called angel numbers, it's an angle. Which angle you're going to take? Because criminals and these guys see angel numbers too. They mm -hmm. all see these numbers. It's just yeah. what angle, since word angle and angel is the same word, it's what angle they decide. So you could be born the same day as Puff Daddy or Billy Carson, and suppose you decide to do the negative, like him and, mm -hmm. him and Beyonce born the same day. You know what I'm right. saying? Looking at that, look how powerful she is, look how powerful Billy has gotten and over the years. So you got to look at the nuances because Billy born on the third, on the, on the nine four, and that alignment number 13 is a powerful number of power and dominion. So anything him and Beyonce put their mind to, all they have to do is work at it and make it happen. This ain't no joke when it comes to with your numbers, family. This ain't no joke. If you're willing to use it, I always, Billy, I always tell everybody, my clients, I said, look, numbers ain't the is all or be all. You're not the number. You're not the astrology sign. They came to, to remind you of who you yeah. are so you can navigate better. Get yes. back on your, on your path from the positive interpretations of mm -hmm. the number. Right. Stop playing with it. Any other questions? I'm sorry, Billy, because I go. Yeah, no, no, this is phenomenal. This I think that people are getting a lot of knowledge out of what you're doing. I saw one person earlier ask a question in reference to um uh what what is the difference between numerology and gematria? No, there's no difference, it's just different levels of it where they're coming from a Jewish perspective and they the number system. Although it's similar, you'll find that you start seeing tens, twenties, thirties, so to hundreds. And that get more to the deeper mystical side of it, where they like to do a lot of a lot of stuff dealing to events that's going on in the world mm -hmm. and all that. I can do that too. I study that too. But my mm -hmm. job is to really motivate people to be their best self. I leave that gematria and Kabbalah with those people that want to do that because I don't want to scare you. I never want to scare you because as long as this ball of flat Earth is spinning. <laughs> Whatever they think it is, whatever you think it is, it could be a cube. As long as it's spinning, you still have to leave a legacy for your family. You still have to do pay the bills. You still got to do what you got to do. I could care less whether it's flat around. I don't care. I don't care. Less. I just like to be put myself in the right position at the right time so I can stay numerovated. That's right. what I like to do. So exactly. to is another form of numerology, like about, and I got it in my book too. I talk about each system of the only one that I didn't put in there was Abjab. So if you go on my book, Numerovation for Mental Stability, I do tell you to do your own studies. Yes, dig deep if that's what you want to do. But if you go into my book on page um on page uh, 90, I, I break I break it all down, Chaldean, Indian numerology, uh, Pythagorean, Chinese, Japanese, tarot, the code system from out of Europe. I got the angel number, synchronicity. I got Gematria, Kabbalah. I got Abjab. Well, I didn't put Abjab. I, was, I forgot to put Abjab in. I got cosmic numerology. So I talk about the basics of the meaning of it. But if you want to go that deep, hey, if that's, what you, if that's what you're supposed to do, maybe you're a deep researcher like Tupac. Y'all want to delve deep. If that's what you want to do, 
fine. But one thing I would tell people that's born under those fours and seven, don't get into anything that's going to bring your vibration down to always destructive. Because sometimes a lot of these brothers and numer the brothers and sisters in numerology out there, they showing all the destructive stuff. Y'all notice that I don't put up a lot of that stuff. I don't even like doing this type of entertainment stuff, to tell you the truth. I really don't. I'm, I'm, I'm really about the personal energy with people and dealing mm -hmm. with people. But because this brought tears to my eyes this morning because yeah. I knew the brother from a, yeah. a, 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 a short time. But that little short time I spent with Tupac, he was in pain. He got shot five times. He was coming out of the hospital. I helped check him out. He even wore my trench coat because he was wearing the hospital coat with his ass showing. I said, Tupac, <laughs> take my goddamn trench coat. He said, thank you, yeah. brother. Thank you. And then they took him downstairs. I took, I'm the one that rolled him downstairs in the wheelchair. Me, mm -hmm. King Simon. Yeah. So, so I, Billy don't know what he triggered in me this morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you got the passion for this one, man. This one hit this one hit a chord. And you know, the number, the work on the numbers, man, is always immaculate. I've been dropping your 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 text number in there, dropping your link tree in the yeah, live chat, thank dropping you, a link you. to your book in the live chat. Thank you. You I guys make sure you support King Simon. He's an amazing savant. He's a mathematical savant in my eyes. Uh make sure you check the chat. I'll drop the number in here again. Thank you, uh, I'll drop the, uh, the link to the book again, Numeral yeah. Relation for Mental Stability. Make sure you get the book support. All this man is out books. here just yeah. trying to help people. All four of my books, man. Uh, Billy, you've been a, 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 a gentleman and a scholar <laughs> all the time with me. I love you. I love you and your family, man. You, man. I just want to remind people that uh, his wife will be on with me at 8 o'clock tonight. Yes. 8 o'clock tonight on my show. Uh, Elizabeth Huckster will be with me and my partner from out of Canada, uh, uh, Carrie Ann Ingram for the show tonight. And we're going to talk about her book, of course, The Elevating the Consciousness and all that. We're going to talk about the recipe to elevating consciousness. And I want to remind everybody in Atlanta, Georgia, and the surrounding areas, or in Brooklyn, New York, you can go to my link tree forward slash King Simon, the numeral Vader. Remember, I got Professor James Smalls coming in for two days, one public, one private. If you want to pay for both of them, you got to text me so I can give you a discount. And if you want to come to the one in Brooklyn, New York at Nicholas, Brooklyn, I'm going to have a King Simon and Friends weekend for spiritual legacy and also spiritual alchemy at Nicholas on the 13th and the 14th of April. So I'll be over there in New York for, with Lloyd Strayhorn, with Ma, Dr. Savy's wife, Unc Rising Son, Mama Ellen. Dr. Shakira Moore would be with us. So it's a whole weekend we're going to have fun. And then on April, like I said, April 6th and April 7th, Professor Smalls would, uh, for a whole weekend with uh, Red Pill, Blue Pill, Professor Drip will be passing through. A lot of them going to come through. So we're going to have a good time in Georgia for that one. So make sure y'all go to my link tree or text me and I can send you information. But, you know, uh, any other questions, Billy? Because my eyes are, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, man. You're good. I just dropped uh, the link to your YouTube account. Make sure you guys go like, subscribe to King Simon Presents on YouTube. Make sure you click that link, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's a wealth of knowledge of the King Simon. I'm going to dial off now, let you get out of here, get refreshed, and get ready for your 8 p.m. Yes. podcast. I look forward to seeing my wife, Elizabeth, on your show yes. Yes. this evening. I love you, man. Love you, love you. And love you can't you too, do brother. nothing about it. I love you, guys. You yeah. can't do nothing about it. <laughs> All right, Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate peace. you, too. Thank you. All right. All right, everyone, that was King Simon. King Simon, an amazing human being, very knowledgeable, as you can see. You can see that he's a mathematical savant. He adds and calculates, subtracts these numbers without using a calculator. He knows the numbers. He knows the math. He's able to do it in his head instantaneously, and he never forgets a birthday. Once you give him your birthday, even if you met him for five seconds, say, my birthday is such and such, and such and my name is such and such, and you he never see you for 25, 30 years, he will remember your birth date. Uh, yeah, just this guy is incredible. His memory, he's got a photographic memory of something. He's just incredible. I mean, he's just mind blowing. And if you want to get a hold of him, I had dropped the link tree, uh, his link tree link in this live chat several times. It's also in the caption of this video. So you can go to his YouTube account from the caption. You can also click on the link to his link tree and see everything that he's doing, all of his events and his books and his text messaging and everything else. And you can text him your name and date of birth, and he will give you a consultation on your own personal numerology. All right. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Now, one thing we do have, I'm going to, oh, I don't have that here yet. We, we have a couple of new songs. Let me just tell you what we got coming up. We got some fire coming out. I mean, some real, real fire. Uh, let me go to my, my YouTube studio and give you a, a quick breakdown of some of the songs that we have ready to go. 
we have um, some premieres set already in stone. And so let me go to my live panel real quick and just see what we have coming up. All right, so we have, not live, let me go to my video premiere uh, link. Okay, so we have Keep Your Head Up in 432 Hertz. All right, Keep Your Head Up is coming out on, what day is this coming? I think it's Friday. This Friday is coming out. Yeah, this Friday, Keep Your Head Up is coming out. So make sure you guys go ahead and click on the notification for that. And then we also have Changes. Uh, I had a, a lot of requests for this song. A lot of requests for changes. We have changes coming out 432 Hertz. It's coming out next Tuesday, premiered on this account. It's already uploaded, just waiting for the date to hit and the time to hit. 2 p.m. on Tuesday, changes is going to premiere. And we have a few more songs that we have in the mix right now. And all this stuff is going to be coming out little by little. We'll release some music every single week. It's exciting. I'm excited. I love listening to the tracks and everything. Once they're done, I like getting in my car and just vibing to the music, bringing back that authentic hip hop feel, you know, and just getting that nostalgia going, but also bringing the new flavor with it and allowing Tupac to do his thing. Uh, it, it's just, you know, I'm living I'm, to me. This is like the best life I can live. So I'm happy. Thank you all, all for uh, joining me today on this uh, on this very brief uh, one hour podcast. And again, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and also make sure that you guys share this link. I'm going to give you my cell phone number that I use for texting, all right? I'm going to drop it here in the live chat. You guys can text me, and I will be able to notify you when I'm going live because sometimes these notifications from this platform, they just don't go out, all right? So it's 954-245-0086. 954-245-0086. Uh, make sure you text. Then I'll text you right back. I'll lock your number in. And when I go live, I'll be able to send you guys a text message and let you know that I'm getting ready to hop on here and, and, and go live. Or maybe drop a brand new song that you weren't even aware is coming out so you can check it out and see if you vibe with it. All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Third I love. Peace. <laughs> And I'll catch you next time.